Hi guys, today's video is the most awaited video. I have received more than 1000 requests to compare these two certifications. So I have tried my best uh, to give you an independent and unbiased opinion and comparison of ACCA UK and CMA USA. I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my channel where you'll find content covering various academic qualifications and professional certifications, including life-changing business ideas and hacks. Guys, something very important. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell notification button so that you get my videos on a timely basis. You don't miss any important video. Thanks a lot in advance. So let's jump into the discussion. When we talk about CMA and ACCA, the very first thing which is very apparent is the origin. CMA is a US certification, whereas ACCA is a UK certification. This much most of us already know. The other important thing you need to know when comparing CMA and ACCA is the number of exams. If you opt to do CMA USA, you will only have to give two exams. Whereas in ACCA, you have to give 13 exams. This does not mean that CMA has just two papers and ACCA has 13 papers. What happens is, when I talk about two exam, it covers 12 knowledge areas. And ACCA covers 13 knowledge areas. The other important thing you need to understand while comparing these two qualifications is how soon you can get certified, whether it is ACCA or CMA. For CMA, the minimum average time to qualify is eight months. Maximum time it can go for one and a half years because each part, when I say two exam, these are two parts, CMA part one, part two. Generally student complete in four months, part one and four month part two, that's the earliest. But when I go one-on-one uh, -on -one with students or a small dedicated group, I have also completed CMA part one in two months and CMA part uh, two in two months. So that is on, uh, you know, accelerated mode. Now, when we talk about ACCA, the minimum time to complete is two years and the maximum on an average could be three to 3.5 years. Why? Because there are 13 papers, if you're starting from scratch, generally people take like, you know, ACC offers four exams in a year. So if you're taking two papers every three months, so in a year you're going to do eight papers. That means it will take you two years to do around 13 papers. But sometimes students, you know, take less than two papers so that can, you know, then it stretches uh, the period of ACCA. It can go long. And again, if you're giving 13 exams, there is a strong possibility that you may fail in some of the exams and you have to reappear. That's why ACCA may take somewhere around two to three and a half years to qualify. And CMA, again, failure possibility is here as well. So there is a possibility you give part one exam and you fail and then you reappear. So it may take you earliest eight months and maximum on an average one and a half years. When we talk about the exam format, how exams are, whether is these are open book exams, closed book exams, online or you know offline exams, CMA and ACCA, both exams are closed books and online. One CMA exam, one part, there are two exams, as I told you, each are around four hours, online exams. ACCA exams will vary from two hours for early papers to three hours, 15 minutes for higher papers. Now, one common question students ask me, what is the acceptance, the global acceptance recognition for CMA and ACCA? Let me tell you and assure you, once you get qualified as a CMA or an ACCA, you are accepted and recognized internationally. So I can say recognition is global for both. 
you get global recognition. On a daily basis, I come across students and parents and, you know, potential students asking me one question. What is the major difference between a certified management accountant and an ACCA? Now, let me tell you, both are professional qualifications. Just like if I, if I give you an example of doctors, you know, some doctors are known as GP, general practitioners. They have just done their MBBS and some doctors are specialists. So I cannot say a child specialist is better than a heart specialist. A pediatrician is better than, you know, a gynecologist. No, all specialists have equal standing and respect. So CMA and ACCA both are professional certification. They both have their own chosen area of expertise. If you qualify as a CMA, your focus is on planning, decision making, budgeting, forecasting, risk management, and internal control. And you can also call it uh, an extension of this is cost control. But as an ACCA, you have your focus on audit, taxation, and financial reporting. So how the world looks at you, if you are a CMA, people look at you, okay, this person has expertise in budgeting, planning, forecasting, decision making, risk management. Whereas if you are an ACCA, people look at you as a tax specialist, an auditor, a specialist in financial reporting, IFRS and ISS and all that. So you need to understand what is the area of your interest, which industry you want to fit in, what type of role you want, what type of career excites you, what is your area of interest, and choose the right qualification for yourself. In order to pass CMA exam, you need to get 72% to pass. Each exam, you need to pass, get 72% marks, out of 100 only then you pass whereas in ACCA the passing in order to pass any paper you require 50 percent but that in no way makes ACCA easier than CMA this 50 percent also is hell of a job actually it's a task now when we're coming to job markets obviously CMA is a US certification so CMAs are very much accepted and welcomed in US, Canada, Australia. Obviously the hottest market for CMA student is Gulf countries and obviously Pakistan, India and Bangladesh. We'll talk about ACC. Obviously, it's a UK certification, so it's accepted in UK, Ireland. Okay. Uh, again, Gulf is a very hot market for ACCAs, including Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh. But this does not mean any other country does not accept ACC and CMA. I'm just telling you the hottest job markets for CMA and ACCAs. Let me give you my example. I have worked in UAE, Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain, Pakistan, to name a few. My current job, I am uh, based in uh, Oman for the last eight years. I am in my current job for the last eight years, not because I look very handsome. It is because of the international professional accounting certifications I hold I hold four or five I think five of them yes so as an expert I still have my job secured because I am a certified accountant so the message is loud and clear to you now coming to the cost now when I'm comparing the cost of ACCA and CMA I'm not talking about the tuition fees because the tuition fees varies from universities to institutes to individual tutors. 
I am talking about the cost which as a student you have to pay the awarding bodies directly. The cost, the fees, the mandatory fees which you have to pay to IMA USA directly and ACCA UK directly. I am not talking about the tuition cost. So the mandatory fees which you have to pay to IMA USA directly is approximately USD 1475 and for ACCA UK is pounds 2129. Now when I say 1475, I'm talking about the initial registration as a student, professional or academic member of IMA. I'm talking about the CMA entrance fees. I'm talking about the exam fees of both the exams. So all that, if you add together, it comes to approximately 1475. Now how I arrived at 2129 pounds? This includes ACCA initial registration, annual subscriptions, it includes all the exam fee for all the 13 papers. So on an average when I add all of them, it comes around 2129. Especially for CMA, if you are linked with me, this cost can go down to 1075 USD. I'll tell you some other time how. So now you have a comparison of the cost directly. If you go for self studies, this is what you got to pay and be ready to pay in a span of eight months, 1475 US dollars. If you're talking about ACCA, the mandatory fee is 2,129 pounds approximately. Let me tell you, these fees may change anytime. It depends upon the discretion of ACCA UK and IMA USA. Now when we're talking about tuition fees, it is very difficult to answer. It depends on which geographical location you are in. You are in Pakistan, you are in India, you are in US, you are in China, you are in UK, where you are, wherever you are, different organizations and tutors and universities charge different fee. So you know how much it is charged there. This is for the classroom or online teaching. So it's very difficult to answer that. Now there are some issues. As I said, I'm going to give you an honest and independent opinion and comparison of the two qualification. Issues are when we talk about the lobbying. So let me give you an example of uh, first India and Pakistan than UK and USA. Now what happens like if you are a CMA in India and Pakistan for example when you go hunting a job the organization you are applying in you need to know who is the decision maker who are the finance heads over there. If there are chartered accountants sitting there they would prefer to hire chartered accountants not CMAs not ACCAs. So if you are an ACCA or CMA in Pakistan or India, you need to understand the organization you are applying, who is the finance and accounting head over there, who is the CFO. If they are chartered accountants, they prefer to hire chartered accountants. They don't prefer ACCA and CMAs. But that does not mean you don't have a market, there is no demand for you. Now my tip to you is, go for MNCs, multinational corporations. Because when we talk about, for example, Amazon, Amazon is operating in India, and I know 10 CMAs who are working in Amazon. So depending which country you are from, if you're lucky enough to qualify CMA or ACCA, go for international organizations, not reputed national ones, because I'm sorry to say, most of the reputed national ones, not all of them, most of them would have some hiring bias towards professional qualifications. So that is the issue which applies to ACCA UK and, uh, and CMA USA. Even in UK, if you're, if you're applying in a company where there are chartered accountants from Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales, they are the decision maker. They will prefer to hire chartered accountants rather than ACCAs. If you are in US, okay, any of the states, if you're applying for a job in a company where the, where the command and control is in the hand of CPAs, certified public accountants, they would prefer to hire CPAs rather than CMS. 
So you have to work your you know, way. But then that does not mean you don't have a demand. There are numerous organizations, even the Fortune 500 companies, 90% of them have CMAs and ACCAs working in them. So that's a good news for you. Coming to the most important part, the salary expectations for CMAs and ACCAs. So what I've done is I have gone through a lot of data, a lot of surveys, and I've come to a conclusion uh, where I have tried to differentiate salaries for CMAs and ACCAs in the international market as well as because at the moment I'm stationed in one of the Gulf countries their salaries in Gulf countries okay so that will give you an idea how much ACC and CMAs are paid in the Gulf countries whether it be Qatar, Kuwait, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Oman, wherever or we're talking about countries like UK, Canada, Australia, US, China, whatever okay so let's have a look at it for CMA USA Internationally, the salary per month is around 6,000 to 13,000 US dollars per month. This is per month. And this is in USD. So, if you are a qualified CMA and you are trying your luck in the United States of America, there is a high probability that you start off with a salary which is 6,000 US dollars per month. That's the minimum. I'm talking about a fresher. You've just qualified CMA. You may have a year or two experience and that's it. But then if you are in the middle or senior management and you are moving from company to another, there is a possibility you may get approximately 13,000 US dollars per month plus minus that depends who you are, what are your credentials, what are your exposures, what are the number of years of experience you have, the industry you have worked for, and which company you are hired. So there are a lot of variables, but I'm giving you an idea. In US, if you are going for, as a fresher, you may get around 6,000 US dollars per month, or a maximum around 13,000 US dollars. That is salary for a CMA, minimum and maximum. As an ACCA, there is a possibility that if you're trying your luck in international market, you may start off with around 3,000 to somewhere approximately 12,000. Now, as a CMA, if you're trying your luck in any of the Gulf country, your starting salary could be somewhere in the range of US dollar 2,500 to a maximum 4,000. Now, you will be asking me, why there is so much of disparity like in us you paid six thousand us dollars and here you paid two thousand five hundred in gulf countries so let me tell you why i am in a gulf country i would have been in us canada australia a long time no you know why gulf countries are tax heavens i don't pay taxes on my salaries so uh, you're getting two thousand five hundred net take home salary no taxation Okay, but in US, your taxes could go as high as 25 to 30, 35%. Same goes for UK. Okay, so if you are in a Gulf country, expect this much as your starting salary, plus minus, depending on which company you're working for. You're working for a small company, you're working for a reputed national company, or you're working for an international company. So obviously, the salary will vary. But I'm giving you an average, as a CMA, starting salary should be around somewhere $2,500 and maximum you may get around $4,000. But that does not mean you can't get more than that. As I said, there are many variables which come into play. When we talk about ACCAs, it is more or less the same. You start off with around $2,000 and your maximum salary could be around $4,000 US dollars. And again, it could be plus minus, depends upon who you are, how you sell your skills yourself in the interview. I have many students let me tell you, I have many students, both CMA and ACCA qualified. 98% of them, once they qualified within one month, they were placed in organization. But 1% of the students are, even they qualified ACCA or CMA, 
but they didn't do good in the interview you know they don't have the communication skills they cannot sell their skill set in the interview so obviously companies want people to work not the certification i hope you understand that having discussed these salaries don't get disappointed and discouraged that your salary cannot go more than 30000 and more than 12000 let me tell you if you are a cma or an acca with sufficient experience and you're talking about the senior most position like CFOs and you know uh, finance directors as an ACC or CMA your salary could be as high as 16,000 USD on an average per month on an average it could be more than this it could be a little less so sky is the limit so ladies and gentlemen i hope you have understood and i am able to give you some insights about cma and acca qualifications and the various details these qualifications have if you have any other queries please leave a comment i will reply to you if you like this video please uh, share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit thank you so very much for your precious time